Hello and welcome. This time we do having an application of our memories, of our flip-flops. Huh? This time we're just using some flip-flops, connect them in a pretty easy way, I would say, and we will analyze what this thing is doing. I will show you what I mean. So, let's use four flip-flops. One, two, three, guess what, four. These are my four flip-flops. The toggle flip-flops, I will write here this T, that we can see it easily. This is the toggling input. The outputs we will use. So this is the output of zero. This is the output of one. This is the output of two, and this is the output of three. Okay. Here, I'll let in a counter input. Okay, and the only thing I'm doing now is use this. That's it. Okay. How is this working? Let's see. Let's assume in the beginning, yeah, all. So, if we have here C, yeah, this is C. And in the beginning, Q zero, Q one, Q two, and Q three, they are all zero. Let's assume. I'll draw now a little bit of a table, yeah, this time even with a ruler. So we said in the beginning everything zero. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. Now we have the first rising edge. Yeah? We change. 0, 1, yeah? clock. What does it mean? If we have a rising edge here, this will toggle. Here, we have no rising edge, they will stay the same. So this will look like 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay? Next rising edge. This will toggle again. So it will go down, and now, producing here a rising edge, yeah? So this will toggle. So this will go to zero, this will go to one, zero, zero. Okay. Next rising edge. This is toggling. There is no rising edge, nothing is changing, and here also nothing is changing. So here we have one, one, zero, zero. Okay. Now Next rising edge. Dogging, this is one, zero. The rising edge, zero. Rising edge, toggle above. Toggling, 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 nothing. Zero one. Toggle, nothing, 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 nothing. So, toggle, nothing, nothing, nothing. Zero one. Toggle, toggle, nothing, nothing. Toggle, toggle, nothing, nothing. Oh, nothing. It was at one. Yeah, it does not nothing, but it was at one. Zero one. Next zero one. Toggle, nothing, nothing. Toggle, nothing, nothing, nothing. Next zero one. Toggle. Toggle, 
Talking? Talking. All are talking. Zero, 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 one. And if we follow this up with every rising edge, yeah, this will now this will talk. You. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This will talk. You. Talk. You. No. No. Yeah. This will talk. You. Talk. You, talk. You. Uh. Yeah. This will talk. You. Zero, zero, one, one. Yeah. This will talk. You. One, zero, one. Yeah. One, zero, one. Zero, yeah. talking, set to zero, this will toggle, this will do nothing, toggle once again, this will toggle, this will toggle, this will, huh? and now, toggle again, yeah. now everything is one, toggle, 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 everything is toggle, go back to zero. Huh? And now, let's interpret this as 2 raised by zero, 2 raised by 1, 2 raised by 2, 2 raised by 3, so as digits in a binary system. Yeah? Then this, if you write it in hex, or write it in decimal, yeah? this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, zero yeah and in decimal of course it's the same here this has no meaning in decimal zero again okay. this thing this thing here this is counting yeah? this is counting how many how how many how many rising edges on the scene put was already I need nothing more than just four toggle flip-flops. Maybe it would be nice to have uh, a reset possibility that I can say, okay, now it's zero. This is usually done. There are flip-flops out there with static S and R inputs, which will overrule the toggle state. And I can use these R's so that I can reach zero, 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 zero with a reset input. Okay. But the function stays the same. Okay. This is a counter. Now it's gone, the ruler. This is a counter. We'll be right back. <laughs> Nothing broken, everything's fine. Just by this, it's counting. Yeah. Show you a different counter. Show you a different counter, which will look pretty much the same way like this. I will also draw four flip-flops. One, two, three, Four. I will also use toggle flip flops as before, no difference. Also edge triggered. Q, not Q, Q, not Q, Q, not Q, Q, not Q. Yeah. These are the T inputs here, toggle inputs, and these are. Q0, this is Q1, this is Q2, this is Q4, and this time I'm using these things for the next. So there is a C. Let's see what this is doing. Yeah. If we again using here, see, and again assuming Q 
Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 at the beginning, they are all zero. Let's see what the result is of this. thing here. So we are at zero, 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 zero. This is our starting point, hexadecimal zero. Okay. Now we have the first rising edge, zero one. Okay. This will toggle, will produce a rising edge here also, this will toggle, will produce a rising edge here also, this will toggle, will produce a rising edge here also, this will toggle. So every, every flip-flop is toggling, one, 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 one. This is talking to F01. Now this is talking. Nothing, nothing, nothing is changing because there is no rising edge. Yeah? So we have 0, 1, 1, 1. This is E. Okay. 0, 1. This is talking. Huh? This is also talking, but down. So we have. One zero one one. Yeah. This is D. You see where we are going to hopefully already. Yeah. This is talking, nothing is changing. Zero ay, 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 ay. zero zero one one. This is C. Yeah. Next. Yeah. This is talking, taking this with it, this is talking, this is talking, so we are at 1101, one, this is B. Okay. Next one. Talking, nothing changes. 0101. Zero, one, zero, one. Okay. This is A. Okay. Talking, taking this with, nothing changes, nothing changes. One, zero, zero, one, this is nine. We are counting in the opposite direction. Yeah? If you have noticed, F, E, D, G, B, A, nine. Now, this should be eight, because this is going down. Zero, 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 one, this is eight. Okay. Zero, one. Mm -hmm. Taking. Taking with, taking with, everything is changing. One, 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 zero, seven. Yeah. And so on. Yeah. Uh. Yes, and then what do we what do we have then? Zero one zero zero two talking zero and the last talking experiment now this is one talking to zero we are at zero again okay so this just this minor change don't connect it to this, connect it to above. This is counting upwards, this is counting downwards. And of course, I will also draw here this reset line. Reset, to set it to zero. And, of course, we can think about decimal here. So this is zero, this is not used, not used, not used, not used, not used, not used. 9, 0. Okay. Counting down. These are, these are counters. Two different type of counters. Upwards counter, downwards counter. I can even use two AND blocks in here yeah, 
and select with an input if I want to connect the above one or the below one and select if I want to count up or down. Okay, then it's an up-down counter. These are counters. Pretty easy, right? So they are not that they are not that complicated. However, these type of counters they have some slight difficulties. I show you show you on the computer. Show you on the computer what I mean. So let's open the file. Here we are. You see, this is this is the upwards counter. Looks exactly the same way. We talked about this. Yeah, that some things, if you want to have decimal, yeah, it would be nice to have a four-digit display, as if to have it uh, decimal counting in decimal. So we are using PCT counter. If you want to use a PCT counter, yeah, here we have to fulfill if it's one zero zero one the output because one zero zero one. Yeah, is uh, a nine. Yeah, one zero zero one is nine. In case we have nine here already, yeah, and we get the next rising edge, we will reset all the things. We're going directly to zero. Okay, so this is actually we're just skipping this part. We're just skipping this part. Yeah. We're going from nine directly to zero. Okay, this is how we can make this PCD fit. Of course, a downwards counter would also be nice to be PCD. Yeah. And here it's working exactly the same. So you see here this one, this is the downwards counter, and here this one, this is the special element which if in case we have f f f f so we have now changed from from here uh, to here uh, from zero to f we go directly to set reset reset set one zero zero one which again is nine uh, so we're jumping from we a short period of time will appear everything's F, yeah, and then next next running time of the of the gate of the of the element will already be nine one zero zero nine. So this is here, this end here, this is just for for doing having this count in PCT. Okay, and here we have this up down counter. See. This is even counting on the falling edge. You see, there is not inside here. This is counting on the falling edge, and with this U up, down, yeah, I can select at the ends, they will block the connection to the next one. Okay. So actually, with this U, I can select if I want to count downwards or upwards. So this is an up-down counter. See, we can count up, we can count down, we can't count hexadecimal, we can't count PCT values. What do we need? What else do we need? I told about you, as so I said to you, there are downsides. In an ideal world, it would look like this on the on the left side. Every time, now we have a counter which is reacting on the falling edge. Every time we have a falling edge, the next one will change. Here you see, C falling edge, Q1 is changing, Q1 falling edge, Q2 is changing. Q2 falling edge, Q3 is changing, 
and Q3 falling edge, which is not shown in this diagram, would be mean Q4 is changing. Suddenly, it is counting. This is on an ideal world. However, since our counter is working like this, first this element is switching, then this element is switching this element, this element is switching this element, this element is switching this element. So we have a chain of elements. This means this, this latency time, the switching times of the elements, you see here on the right side, here we have a small delay. It does not really matter. Small delay. Because there is a switching time. But here on the second, I have this delay from the first, and because the first one needs to switch, then the second one is switched, there is also a delay time. Okay, so on the second uh, digit I have already two times the delay time. On the third digit I have three times the delay time. On the fourth, fourth digit I have four times the delay time. Okay? So this actually means I'm limited in the, in the frequency of the clock. Yeah? It might even happen that the clock is fast enough that I cannot get a correct answer out of it at any time. Everything is, is, is counted, that's true. But I cannot see it on the outside because one was already changed and one will be changed in future. It is in the pipeline, okay? It is in the pipeline, but it will not it will just appear at the surface when the first one already switched to the new state. So the f and, and I cannot get the right uh, correct number out of it anymore. Yeah. This fact that these things are switching one after the other, yeah, this is why they are called asynchronous counters. Okay. So the counting, the change of the digits are asynchronous. And the major downside is exactly this, that I might, I'm not able to read the, the correct value out any time I want. At some points in time, yeah, where one digit already switched and others not, I read some a complete nonsense out of it. And like I said, if the clock is even faster and faster and faster, I will never, I would not even theoretically be able to read a valid result out of it. So these things, these synchronous counters, they are cheap, they are reliable. However, if it's going too fast, it's going too fast. This is why next video we are talking about synchronous counters. Let's see how those are working. Yeah? And synchronous counters, they have the big benefit that I can read them out. I can get a valid result every time. How this is working will be shown in the next video for this time. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.